let's look at the general form for a circle. This, this general form can be very messy if you're not careful. x squared plus y squared plus cx plus mm -hmm. dy plus e equals 0. That's the general form. I'm just writing it there so you can see it and so you can freak out. Here's what we want to do, though. I want to be able to give you equations that are in this form, and you'll, you'll go from this form into the center radius form. All you have to do is complete the square. So when you complete the square, oh. complete the square to return to the center radius form. And let me show you how we go about doing this. Let me just give you this example. So the way the example starts off, it's very easy for us to get freaked out. Okay. Now I said we need to complete the square, right? We know how to complete the square. Remember that jingle, divide by 2 and square it. Divide by 2 and square it. Whoop! But before I can complete the square, I have to set it up so that completing the square works for me. I don't want x squared. I don't want the x's with y's, do I? Rearrange your terms. When you rearrange, you have x squared plus 10x, right? Now, leave some space. Why am I going to leave some space here? Because I'm going to complete the square. What's going to come next? Plus y squared minus 14y. And you know what I'm going to do? The 70 is on the wrong side. Remember how you would complete the square? Variables on one side, constants on the other? The same thing applies here when you're trying to make this conversion from general to center radius form. Now, I maintain that we can find something so that this guy factors as a square. And this guy factors as a square. I'm going to go ahead and fill in what we already know. Whoop. Well, that's a y. Trust me, that's a y. Well, I know it's another mistake. Write it down. Tell you what, tomorrow I'll write down all of your mistakes. Now, oh, I'm sorry that came across as being rude. Now, complete the square. What's half of 10? Positive 5, right? What's 5 squared? If I just do this, I'm going to be in trouble. Because That's wrong. Why is that wrong, Kelly? Because you have to add it to the side. I have to add 25 over here. Do you all agree? <laughs> what about the y? What am I going to get here? Half of negative 14 is negative 7. What's negative 7 squared? But you have to add it over here as well. Isn't that how we completed the square, although we're kind of completing two squares at the same time? Mm -hmm. So what's on the other side? I've got x plus 5 squared equals y minus 7 squared. What is that? Negative 4. Negative four. This right here gives me 74 <coughs> minus 70 is 4. <laughs> Do you see how I completed the square for the x squared plus 10x? No, exactly. And then I completed the square for the y part. What I add here, I add over here. That's why I'm using different colors for you. And I combine all of this to get 4. What is your center? Negative 5, 7. Yeah, that's cool. Negative 5, 7. What's your radius? 2. The radius is 2. Do you all agree with that? Okay. Now, it is possible to get a number that's not a perfect square, but not what I'm asking you to graph it by hand. What if this number came out to be a negative? If it were negative 4, what would you say? If it's, if it's a negative 4, it's, it's not a circle. It it's doesn't exist, and you're going to have issues with that.
<coughs> now, before I go and graph this, I want you to do, I want to do another example, and then I'm going to graph both of these guys together. But I want you to be able to um, have these both on the same page on the same video. I'm going to take x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. What am I going to do here for this problem? How do I rearrange this? <coughs> x squared minus 6x, leave some space, plus y squared minus 4y, and what's on the other side of my equation? 12 is on the other side. Now we expect this guy to factor as a square here, as a square here, and then we'll figure out what that number is in a second. So this is x and this is y. Let's do it the same way we did before. How will I complete the square for the x? 5, 6 by 2. What is that? 3, negative 3. Negative 3, and what's negative 3 squared? 9. So plus 9 and plus 9. What about for your y's? What do you need? What's half of negative 4? And then when you square that, you get 4. So I have to add 4 to the other side. So what, uh, what happens with all these constants on the right? What do you get? 25. You get 25. So now identify the center. What's the center? 3, 2, three, 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 radius is 5. 3, 2, and the radius is? The radius is 5. Are well, there questions about how I went from the <coughs> general form to the center radius form? Yeah. Now, just so you guys are. Y'all didn't do this in 10, did you? No. We did not do this in 0310. Just so you guys can see how everything matches up, let me graph it for you real quick. Oops. This first guy is negative 5, 7. That is not what I want to use it on. So negative 5, 7 is right here with a radius of 2. So 2 in these four directions. And you got your circle, right? And the other graph, I must as well go ahead and do it on the same set here. The order pair is 3, 2. So 3, 2 is my center. My radius is 5. So we go up 5, down 5, to the right and to the left 5. Those are both circles you just did right now? Right, this is what the graphs would look like for each of these. Mm -hmm. This guy right here is the x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y minus 12 equals 0. And the other one was the first guy, mm -hmm. x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 14y plus 70 equals 0. Mm -hmm. 